Salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. This is our Islamic study period, inshallah. And we start with Yusuf. Okay, I was reading the same chapter, the end of Islam, the removal of the Quran, and death of good people. Mm-hmm. It says, We heard our forefathers saying that this word, I meant these words. La ilaha illallah, so we say it too. And these are like the old men and the old women who are like um, studying Islam. And these will be old people, but their um, children will not be um, practicing Islam. Can you, you get this from the beginning? Okay. It says... Ibn Majah and Al Hakim narrate that Hudayfa ibn Al Yaman stated, The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi said, Islam will wear out like the adornment of a garment wears out. Until, you know what wear out mean? Yeah, like um mm-hmm. like uh decompose or Okay, like you understand you have a clothes that is mm-hmm. new and after this little bit by little bit it turned to be <coughs> old. Mm-hmm. And you can see the printing in it, the or the color, or you understand, start fade like this, mm-hmm. wear out, okay? So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Islam saying, will wear out like, you understand, same thing like a, like a garment, mm-hmm. okay? All right, and after this? And so no one will know what fasting, prayer, sac- sacrifice, or charity mm-hmm. are. The book of Allah will be taken away in one night. And the what? The book of Allah mm-hmm. will be taken away in one night. Mm-hmm. And no one, and not one ayah will be left on earth. Mm. There will remain groups of people, old men and old women, who will say, We heard our forefathers saying these words, La ilaha la So we say it too. So that, that means the main thing of the Islam, like the Salah, the Zakah, which is supposed to be well known to everybody. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be even practiced or established or known. And some of the older people, you understand, they only have the kalima, only saying they do not even know what it entails. They say, we heard, you understand, <coughs> our, the previous generation or Father and mother, you understand, they used to say this. So, this shows you how how Islam will disappear and the Quran also will be lifted up. That is not exist anymore. And this is close to the day of judgment. Okay. Can you read after this? It says, the small... Remnant. Remnant. What is this? Remnant. Remnant. Who will know nothing of Islam except the word of Tawheed will pass away. In Muslim, it is narrated that Abu ibn Masud said, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu said, the hour will only come upon the most evil of creation. Mm-hmm. Okay. <coughs> So all the things from the signs of the day of judgment. That Islam were out, Quran being lifted. People do not know too much about Islam. Okay. Oh. Why? Um, my book is Paradise and Hell. And I'm reading about the description of paradise. <clears throat> the Sahaba asked the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu about buildings of paradise, he replied with a wonderful description, this description, bricks of gold and silver, and mortar of fragrant musk, pebbles of pearl and sapphire, and soil of saffron, whoever enters it is filled with joy, and will never feel miserable, he will live there forever, and will not die, their clothes will never wear out, and their youth will never fade, so they will stay young, Allah describes it when, and when you look there in paradise, you will see a delight that cannot be imagined in a great dominion. 
what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept hidden from us of the delights of paradise is beyond our ability to comprehend or think of. It's also another verse from the Quran that says, No person knows what is kept hidden for them of joy as a reward for what they used to do. Um, I got a quick question now. Uh, he it has a um description, but uh, I was wondering, like, is it gonna is it gonna look like Earth? Like, is it gonna be like regular, like grass, or is it just gonna it's, be? Is nothing matching from the dunya to the hereafter other than the names? Okay. So only the names. Okay, when it say about bricks talks about grass or talks about the fruit the only similarity is the names but the quality the shape the form of it is totally different <coughs> okay anything else okay is it all right, my book is 40 Hadiths uh, on poison, Poisonous Social Habits, and today's topic is listening to music. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it says, narrated Abu Amir radiallahu anhu or Abu Malik al-Ashari radiallahu anhu, that he heard the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, from among my followers, there will be some people who will seek to make lawful, illegal sexual intercourse, the wearing of silk, the drinking of alcoholic drinks, and the use of musical instruments, ma'afis. Ma'azif. Oh, ma'azif, sorry. Mm -hmm. And from them, there will be some who will stay near the side of a mountain. And in the evening, their shepherd will come to, come to them with their sheep, and a poor person will ask them for something. But they will say, return to us tomorrow. Allah will destroy them during the night and will let the mountain fall upon them. And he will transform the rest of them into monkeys and pigs. And they will remain so until the day of resurrection. This is Bukhari. Mm -hmm. It was also saying something uh, during the time of the Prophet ﷺ that he entered his home or someone else's home. And when he did, there were two, two young girls playing mm -hmm. the dove. Mm -hmm. And um, I think uh, didn't the Prophet sort of he laid down and covered himself, mm -hmm. and Abu Bakr Siddiq walked in and he saw them playing this, and he told them to stop, and the Prophet sort of said, removed the blanket from over him and told him mm -hmm. to like let them continue playing. Was this during the time of uh, why? He, why he said let them continue playing? Because the occasion that is the Eid, mm. so the permissibility of playing the Duff. Only in the Eid, and this is the reason the Prophet said to Abu Bakr, leave them, you understand, in their entertainment, because every community, every religious group, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, gives them a feast, and this is our feast. So since it is our feast, okay, so such a thing, which is plain the of not all the musical instruments, okay, been, been allowed for the girls to do it. Okay, this is the reason. Now, there's this word that you, we just said, ma'azif. It was saying that this this meaning means like something that you can beat on or if like a anything drum. you understand. The term ma'azif is musical instruments. Doesn't matter. You're going to do it by hand, by foot, by uh, instrument, by uh, electronic, whatever it is. Okay, that things which he is give this kind of entertainment, sound for entertainment. Okay, and Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu said what? I'm his mouth shaitan. That this is the sound of the shaitan. Okay. This is the call of the shaitan. All right? Okay. So, like, electronic, like, um, music, it's not like, you know, like strings in the air. Is it still haram? It's, it's a different mechanism to allow the production of music. This is it. 
okay and it's not haram matter of haram to listen is haram to play it it's haram to buy it it's haram to sell it so that mean people could not even say okay i'm not using it myself i'm only uh, selling it mm-hmm. you yeah, are not supposed if something haram you could not produce it you could not sell it you could not buy because the dealing with it of it will be unacceptable in al islam okay but singing singing is singing is different you see that sometimes the singing is company with music mm-hmm. and sometimes it's not so if it's not that like what you call nasheed as example mm-hmm. so the focus here will be about the wording what are the wording is motivating evil or encouraging something good or uh, what is the subject of it also not to be taken as a, uh, a habit even if you understand no music instruments involved that the wording is acceptable not to be taken a habit because this became almost like a replacement in people's life and instead of remembering Allah reading Quran now this is what you understand like the rabbin as example you call it rabbin okay mm-hmm. so the rabbin same thing will apply to it you can call it singing so what is the subject mm-hmm. and let's assume that the subject about something good okay so now can this be replaced in the Quran if it became a habit <coughs> in our daily life day and night this is what we using it's not acceptable but if a person as example have a long driving okay falling asleep in the understand in behind the wheel so and they start to say this kind of uh, singing to entertain himself and keep himself up this is something acceptable or there is a Eid and they celebrating so he can save but to be like the way how we see it nowadays day and night people using it as a this, career yeah, not, not even as a career yeah so um, what about beatboxing is that the same thing uh, what like making noises with your mouth <laughs> Like I said, you understand, is is not how is the way of production. Mm-hmm. Is that the existence itself, okay? Some people, as example, he can put some cups uh, and sticks <laughs> hanging and put a fan behind it and the air itself will start in this and producing some mm-hmm. kind of production of how you pro- producing the, the stuff okay yeah but of course we could not say that because as example uh, the whistling the whistling is produced by the mouse okay but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the, uh, uh, Allah had what you call disapprove it that had people use it as a means of prayer okay so they used to go there around the Kaaba and clapping and whistling okay so this is became a means understand for their glorification as example or praising so all these things understand that is not acceptable but when if you whistle that to call someone you're calling somebody like if they're far away and they can't hear you okay so and so what how are you going to get their attention like whistle really loud so <coughs> If, if there is other means that you can use, will be better, okay? If there is a, a other means that to get the person 
attention will be better about it. If it's not, you understand, this will be something that you are not always calling somebody. Is. All right? Okay. Um, Anybody? Yeah. yeah. They were talking about the plague and the monkeys. Uh, I, know, I think it's that Allah transfers them. That means instead of being in a human being form, mm -hmm. they will turn to be monkeys and apes due to the fact is what they were doing. Because they're drinking the wine, they playing the musical instruments, you understand? And Allah makes them die in this case and will be in a a different form of a human being is not a human being anymore as a means of punishment for what they're doing. So what so time was this? All the things we're still talking about, the day of judgment and the hours. Was it at like a prophet's time? Prophet time? Yeah, like, like when it happens. Musa. It said there will be people from amongst his followers. It, oh. It's going to be, it didn't happen. All oh, the things the Prophet Sallallahu is prophesizing things are going to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, um, are they going to be like that forever? Hmm? They said they're going to be like that forever. Until the day of the Like day. I say, until the day of the judgment. So, what, so is there going to like be an animal and they never die? No, everything, even the animals will die. I mean, I know they're going to die. Eventually, yes, they die. But they're going to stay alive until the day of judgment? No. So... When are they going to die? That means they will die when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants them to die. But they're going to be turned, transferred from human being figures, okay, to look like apes and monkeys. Okay? Right. Anything else? So what was he talking about the mountain? He was saying that the hadith said that there will be people next to a mountain that would uh, be drinking and doing the haram and then Allah will like they go for the entertainment in such a place mm -hmm. so Allah will punish them in two different or more than one way of punishment that the transfer of their creation and the mountain falling in them he said that they're going to be like Bigfoot and stuff yeah, so no, yeah. big what? Bigfoot you know, you know Bigfoot? Yeah. can that be like them? We don't know about this big fortune. So we talk apes, like a monkey. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole thing, you understand? So Allah knows best, you understand what it is. All right, guys, you go. So if you stuff. hear anything like, I know this is off the subject, but if you hear anything about like the Illuminati and stuff. About you, what? The Illuminati. You should stay away from it. Like, what of course you're supposed to, but... You know the Illuminati, like people who, like are devil, devil worshippers. Yeah, devil. Yeah. What we have, what we have to be, even in their middle store, be with them and for whatever. I mean, cause like they have like signs, like what was it, butterfly? <coughs> Triangles. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I only know their name. I never even like. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala say, "Fear Allah and be with the truthful one." Mm -hmm. It is very important that we always. Select our company and the people that if you have to be some place that you have no choice, as example, you go inside food line to buy something, okay? There is wine, they sell it there. There is, a, you go to food line as example to buy something, but but they, there is wine there.